Thanks for stopping by. My name's Mike McNamara. This is Screen Magazine. One of the most powerful documentaries I've seen in years. Uh, I saw it at Sundance earlier this year. It changed my whole approach to food, the whole way that I look at advertising, my diet, everything. And at the heart of it, it just is kind of mind-blowing that Congress actually considers pizza a vegetable. Think about that for a second. While you're thinking about it, I'm going to bring the wonderful director of the film, Fed Up, which opens in Chicago this weekend at Landmark Center Center Cinema. Stephanie Sodig, welcome to screen. Thanks for having me. Thanks for making it onto screen. I was telling you before, when I saw this at Sundance, I was so blown away about it, and I just wanted to wait until it finally made it into theaters to let everyone know about it and get people out to theaters. So I guess the best way to start is to say, why should people go out and see Fed Up this week? Well, if you eat, can't afford not to see this film. I mean, really, everything that we've been told for the past 35 years um, about diet and exercise has been based on politics disguised as science. So if you want to be entertained and see sort of a murder mystery whodunit, um, as well as learn a thing or two, I think it's like the perfect combo of being entertaining, but still really, you know, you'll never look at food the same way again. And, and it's not the movie that's been in I'm a little bit of a troublemaker too. Maybe that's why I appreciate it. And it's, you know, it's interesting. This isn't just something like, hey, everybody, eat your vegetables. I mean, this is about a systematic way that we've been trained or raised to exercise, counting calories, etc. that is completely 180 degrees incorrect. Well, that's just it. I mean, the fundamental way of how we've been raised with director Stephanie Sodig. Her very powerful documentary, Fed Up, opens at Landmark Century Cinema in Chicago this weekend and all over the country. Uh, we've got links to the trailer and showtimes right here on ScreenMag.com. Uh, a couple more questions for you. Katie Couric uh, narrates it and is also executive producer, and I actually just saw a segment on her show the other day all about the film. Talk about uh, how Katie got involved in the film. Her idea. Uh, I was on her online talk show promoting my last film, Past, about the bottled water industry, and we just hit it off. And when I was in Bing, she said, You know, for 35 years I've been covering diet and exercise trends, and yet the whole country and indeed the world is getting bigger and thicker. But what's going on? And she asked if I would take a look at it. And I was actually underwhelmed by the idea, and I thought, Don't we know this story? Has it been told a hundred times? Um, but I started, you know, taking part, so I started fishing around a bit and just, you know, couldn't believe the wealth of information. Um, and then again, you know, this giant food conspiracy that we've all been a part of for the past 35 years, you know, exposed itself and... Um, it was a story that we just had to tell. You know, one of the stories that just rang out with me, and uh, people will, you know, go see the movie and, and hear all of the story, but there was that whole Let's Move campaign, which is still in action, that our First Lady Michelle Obama enacted, but I didn't realize how it was completely kind of corrupted by these big companies we're talking about. Can you, can you give us a little intro, a little info on that, and then we'll see the rest when we check out the movie? Well, you know, what we saw was... Uh, um, that when she initially came out introducing Let's Move, it was about family dinners from scratch. Um, and, you know, I think that this was a red flag for the food industry because, you know, that would mean not buying any more processed food. So what they did was they volunteered to help be, you know, part of the solution. And unfortunately, Michelle Obama got kind of drawn into, a, you know, a little cold discussion of making processed food better. And you can't, you know, solid food by your nature is not good for you. So, um, you know, you can stop any health thing on it for you, but it's not, it's not real food. So, let's see the film to hear the whole story. But 
you know, even in Michelle Obama is, is not immune to the pressures of uh, this industry, unfortunately. Guys, we're talking with Stephanie Sodig about her new documentary, Fed Up, executive produced by Katie Couric in theaters this weekend. How easy is it for us to just start to pull sugar and processed foods out of our diet? You know, I think it's a lot easier than we think it is. Once you become aware of it, it's hard to go back. Once you start knowing that four grams of sugar is one teaspoon, and you start flipping your packages around, you're like, you know, I would never put four teaspoons of sugar into my yogurt. And you start looking for, you know, specific names for sugar, and you start looking at the ingredients. But the first thing I did when I was making a movie was I thought, I looked, I tried to buy things with under five ingredients. And, you know, of course it was challenging at first, but now, I mean, even six months into it, I just, it just becomes a new way of life. It's just time for us to take back the way we eat. Um, and it was really eye-opening to me to see just how much I was buying based on marketing. I thought I was sort of above it, but I wasn't. I was just as pretty good as everybody else um, and influenced by it. So it's it, it really just getting honest information, which we haven't gotten until now. Last question. What can we do locally to get the Coca-Colas and Frito-Lays and, you know, all of these companies out of our high schools, out of our grammar schools, out of our elementary schools, even if it's just on a local, you know, one or two school type of level. What, you know, what could I do? So my suggestion would be, as a parent, I would start a petition. You know, I would, first of all, I would take a group of parents to refuse the film so that you can, because you really need to see how it happened and what exactly is happening to get set yeah. up and to get you know, really demand action. Listen, parents are incredibly powerful. You get 100 parents in your school to sign a petition, you can get this stuff taken out. It's just until now, nobody's spoken up. And in fact, you see the parents are the greatest people to push back when, when, when they're trying to take junk food out. So I think um, it really needs to be a people's movement, and we wouldn't allow schools to sell threats. We shouldn't be allowing them to sell soda. Stephanie, it's such a wonderful film. Thank you for bringing it to all of us, and uh, we're excited to go see it this weekend. Thanks for stopping by screen. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Guys, that was director Stephanie Sodig. Her documentary, also executive produced by Katie Couric, is called Fed Up. It's at Landmark Century Center Cinema in Chicago, opening this weekend. You must go see it. Go see it this weekend so it stays in theaters. Uh, we've got showtimes and trailer right here at Screen Mag. Thanks for stopping by. My name's Mike McNamara. I'll talk to you again soon.